tank. I'm gonna make them just smaller. Looks like Cam did indeed win the toss. Chose to kick. <laughs> kick was received by DJ. This camera angle. It looks like DJ made it to the outside. Made Mayor to miss. Still going outside. Not bad, not bad. These logos are pretty pretty bad. Can't lie, but they're just going to stay there. Cause, um... Just put them next to the score. Just put them next to the score. <laughs> Alright, they're going next to the score. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. DJ already needing a pause? No, oh. never mind. DJ got the free roll all the way to the left side. As we said, there is the chip giving a free roll. This definitely will be a Mac Jones type of gameplay. I think so. I mean, didn't quite get to see who's on the line. It looks like it's Lus. Flash over. Xenial. This is kind of... Run up the middle. Interest <laughs> I really thought that Xenial was going to play running back. I thought so too. I had never really took as eaten season for a man with hands, but you know maybe they know something we don't. Look at this pocket, though. Just wide open runs at every play. Yeah, and like I said, you know, DJ definitely not afraid to run. Like, I know that in most people only really have seen DJ quarterback in pugs where you're not really allowed to run. But, I mean, obviously everyone's had that pug with DJ where he uh, just randomly decides I'm going to run the ball. And you'll see it here. Another five yards as Juice makes the tackle. He's already averaging about seven yards per run. King's been changing up the formation to 4-3 now. And the pressure is in. Oh, no. What a dot from DJ. That's a great throw by DJ and a good play by Insanity, keeping that in bounds with the slide jump. Really good pocket movement by DJ. It looked like they got in instantly, but he was able to buy himself enough time for Insanity to get over. Great blocks once again. Just such a wow. free pocket. Oh, my God. DJ. Look at, I don't know if you saw that, but Flashover got the edge and then he actually pancaked the end there, giving the freest 10 yards of the seed. <laughs> oh, they figured out how to stop that 4 3 already. DJ almost getting the first, second and one. Honestly, I prefer second and one situations over first and 10, because you can do anything here. Yeah, you really could, and I mean, it's looking like that left side, that strong side run might be open. Yuffie may be filling the gap, but... Just straight up the middle. One yard. It's just, it's so hard to stop the run in those short yard situations. Everyone could just get pushed off the snap, and it's just... It's tough. It really is. DJ rolling out to the left. Pretty good blocks. No pressure. Zinio coming back. Here we go. DJ just chucking to elect this one away. Whoops, selecting to chuck this one away. <laughs> oh, that was good, that was good. Freudian slip, if you will. Oh, Juice is in it clean. But DJ's pocket movement's oh. just better. What's he gonna do here? Oh my god. Wide goodness. open. DJ's just playing around with this D-line right now. Do you see this? No one's that, come close. That was actually incredible. He actually pulled like a little bit of a Madden play, walking up to the line of scrimmage, baiting the safety up. You saw Cam fly out from the end zone and just try to dive at DJ. And he's, oh, oh, a blocked kick. Big play by Meritor there. Insanity forgot to pinch in. Come on, guys, pinch in. <laughs> It ain't that hard. Just hold left click and D with a little bit of shift. Now let's see wow. what this offense is going to do. Clearly outmatching the other team in the receiving battle. Is it going to be a throwing kind of game? Or are they two going to like to just run down the field? Can they run down the field? So many questions. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I think that, you know, on paper... This DK line should be well equipped to stop the run, but the thing about it that might be a little worrisome is DJ likes to call some exotic sort of zones. He likes to, his coverage is like a big scheme sort of deal. So it'll be interesting to see if that safety who's playing there, who isn't normally playing safety, is going to be able to keep up. Mm -hmm. I don't think they can run that zone here anymore, especially with his ass or flashover being that safety position. 
there it is. The line leak was wide open, but Cam oh. just quick throwing it. Yeah, Gundozer was streaking down the left hash, wide open, probably calling for the ball, but Cam just didn't see it. it was not one of the reads. They really do have to watch out for that. As Cam just runs it up the middle for three yards, safe plays, safe plays. Looks Cam like rolling. Basic. Ooh, look at this pressure though. This is what I was talking yeah. about. Yeah, that four man is humming. I was just about to say, it looks like they're four manning every play. And I mean, if they can get pressure like that every single time, you know, it's going to be a long day for Cam. Are they figuring out a new meta that we don't know about? Four linemen, two receivers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great coverage by DJ. Getting the tackle too. Yeah, he played that about as well as you could. Just a good throw by Cam. Cam just making sure that ball was outside so Khan could get that body on the comeback. There's another four man. Yuffie. Oh, Gooder is burning. And a dot by Cam. New oh, Gooder. Gooder <laughs> dives at the one. Great plays up until the end right there. Yeah, and, it, and see right there, you saw the coverage kind of fall apart. Yuffie wide open over the middle and Gooder having leverage. That's kind of the tough thing with a... Oh, this oh, is... what... <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> this is just a comedy of errors. Right here, Cam dives into his own lineman. Someone else dives into Cam's lineman. Cam gets back up and runs it in. The question has to be asked, what is more scuffed? <laughs> the casting for the game or the game itself? <laughs> I gotta go game right now. Their casting may be pretty bad, but I haven't had a Freudian slip since that last one. I mean, we, you know, <laughs> these are gridiron players. We are not casters. So. <laughs> oh, oh no. my God. It's got to be. It's got to be the game. It's the game. Here we go. What does CJ do here? Free roll all the way over. But Gundozer's in free. Is this a five man? That was a five man. I am counting one, two, three, four, five people. What's that, DJ? I think that they saw that the running back stayed in to block, and then they sent the safety that was manning up the running back. But I mean, clearly that just did not work. As as Eaton season was able to leak out and get a huge gain after the fact. Absolutely, I do not think five manning is the move here. Oh. There it is. The line is starting to fuck up here, though. Pardon my French. I meant mess up. <laughs> That's tough for DJ because he did have a receiver open over the middle, but you could tell that the pressure just got there right away. He had no time to read the field there. DJ is not used to this pressure anymore. He He's used to this clean pocket. Oh, DJ with the dash. Can he get the first, though? This is important. Our first and more? All right, go end zone, DJ. Just gets blocked by his own blocker, Zinio. You know, typical Xenial things, just blocking your own, the, the person you're supposed to be <laughs> blocking for. Wide open run. That gap was so huge. If DJ just dashed in there, I feel like he could have gotten more. Yeah, that's just, it's going to, it's so difficult to win a game where you're just losing in the trenches. Because no matter what happens in the secondary, I mean, if the quarterback is able to roll freely, get a bunch of time. Oh it's my god. Like, like that play just cannot happen. He has all day in the pocket to read the field and then he says, you know what, I'll take it myself and it's five. And now it's a you know, third and goal situation in this meta where it's so free to run. DJ says I'm toting and run. Sit in. <laughs> no This game is most definitely scuffed. That just has to be demoralizing. You have the opposing quarterback tell you he's running. He's hey. pulling a Cam Newton. Hey, I see you've been watching film. Just runs it right in. And now the two point, and it's back to as if the game were a completely normal affair. That, and it has been anything but. That two point was a complete dot, though, I, if I must say so. Right over Yuffie's head. And as the attic living up to the hype, just spotting that right on. Ooh, Yuffie transversing field, going up the middle, all the way up to the 37. 
Let's look at the stats. DJ, 70 passing, 80 rushing. No picks, yeah. no turnovers. Yeah, three for four, too. I mean, like, that's good efficiency. He's just taking what the defense is giving him right now. Oh, Cam election to... Ch oh, as he almost getting that, going around Gooder, but Gooder, too good, gets spot instantly. And you have to think that they're at least a little bit aware of the, you know... <laughs> coverage situation that Dr. Nidos has going on right now. I expect to see a lot of that. What? Oh, Gooder! 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 That was a perfect throw by Cam. Gooder just big clown feet. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I was gonna say that because Gooder got wide open on the post route as he kind of paying him a little bit too much respect. Oh! That, their defense is ash you going off right now. I, Insanity jumped that route. Cam just making a better throw. Yeah, it looks like Cam is kind of on his game right now in terms of ball placement, um, which means that it's going to be a very interesting game for this Daku Naito secondary, mm -hmm. and to say the least. <laughs> just a comeback from Grodo to get that first right there. And as, for the first time, did not actually format Blitz, he dropped back. Are they evolving? It looks like he dropped back again. He's playing that mid zone. And he's playing it well, too. Bagging Gooder, who was Cam's first read, I think. If they're going to be able to get this much pressure with a three man, and as Eaton Season's actually going to be able to cover at least air, like air so that you can't make a wide open throw, I mean, that might be the solution to their kind of secondary woes, at least for this game. This zone is actually looking mighty fine, if I do say so. As is playing this perfect. DJ, I'm not sure what he's doing. There's no one covering Khan. There's... There's... <laughs> Did I... anyone notice that? There was no one covering Khan? A blob. Out of bounds. Oh. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. DJ looked like he was trying to swap there with... I think it was Insanity was his safety, and they both left Conspiracy wide open in the right corner. Uh, that's the one they'd like to have back. Just a straight throw to Khan, and that's a tutty. Oh. Oh, no, the first turnover of the game. Cam overthrowing his receiver going a post route. Trying to dot it up. That's a hard throw. And you, it is so, so, so important to capitalize in the red zone against teams that run the ball. Because if DJ just runs like he just did now for 10 yards wide open up the middle... Not only is he going to score, as you can't stop his run, clearly, but he's also going to take the majority of this clock before half. Yeah, I I don't see Kingsman getting the ball back unless there's a turnover. And Gundozer gets pancaked as DJ runs for six more. Oh, Lord. This is... This is hard. It... Oh. This is hard to watch, I can't lie. <laughs> it's a little hard to watch. Alright, a free roll. But Meritor is getting in. There is pressure now, but DJ just throwing a dot across the field. DJ known for his cross-field comebacks. Yeah, and that's one thing that's actually really frustrating about playing against DJ is he just loves rolling one way and, you know, taking what the DBs give him. If he sees that you're playing off because of the fact that he's rolling away from his receiver, he will throw that. And you'll just be sat there sort of wondering, why would you even throw that? But, you know, it works for him. I mean, easy first down there and he's another one here with the run. They'd have no answers for DJ right now. Yep, he's not, not getting stuffed in the run and the coverage isn't doing it. Oh. He just got stopped in the run by Xenio. If, I, if Kingsman can't do it, Xenio sure as hell can. Sir, if you are watching, please give Xenio credit for that sack because he was the one who got the DJ there more than anyone. Just completely stonewalling him at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Xenio plus one sacks. Oh, that guy is burning. Who is that? That is Asiatic. What 45 that? yards and Azzy. Stand management. He's looking like a senior player out there. No one has stand management like that. Three slides on that route. And that's one thing that DJ likes to teach all his receivers is he's been a big fan of the triple slide. And that's a great route by Azzy. And, I mean, I think a little bit of credit has to go to DJ, too. Azzy didn't even have to stop for that ball. He hit him in stride. What a perfect play. And they strike immediately after we were just talking about them chewing clock. Mm -hmm. This is really, really bad for Kingsman right now. 
Kingsmen do get ball back at half, though, so all of this does not matter as long as they score here. That is true. All right, Cam, within the Twins left, what does he like to do here? Run, pass? You can do either or, but that four man's daunting. And here yeah, it comes. I'd imagine that they're going to try and pass a little bit more, get the clock sort of churning a little bit, try to double up. Score and then score when they get the ball back at half. Just got to be a little bit careful not to make an errant throw and get a turnover here because a turnover really kind of makes things difficult for them moving forward. Oh, no. What is that throw, though? He is lucky Insanity did not have another slide and just let Yuffie right behind him because Insanity had that bag. That was an yeah. errant throw. Yeah, that was good coverage by Insanity. I mean, that's just a situation where you throw it up to your receiver and you just say, hey, you're better go get it, because he was so pressured and so far back that there was no way that that was a read. That was just simply a prayer. Yep. I'm surprised they're not sending more line leaks, though. I feel like this is something they should be doing, especially with them very obviously showing this four-man. Like, look at that. It's, it's difficult, right? Because on the one hand, you want to send that line leak, but sometimes you just don't have the linemen for it. I mean, Gundos are not really known as a pass-catching lineman. Juice obviously used to play running back, but... With his computer issues and he's, you know, being out of practice, he Cam probably doesn't trust it. Cam's a really, like, sort of, uh, I don't know, risk-averse player is the best way of putting it. You know, if he doesn't necessarily trust something 100%, he, the ball just won't leave his hands. It'll go out of bounds or he'll just take the side. Mm -hmm. I agree with that statement. Three men here as they're playing a zone in the end zone. And the pressure's really not getting there, but Cam getting stuffed by his own lineman. This seems to be a... Oh! Wide open! Yuffie, <laughs> no! <laughs> to Yuffie's credit, I think it was a little bit over, but Definitely it's catchable. hard to tell. Yeah, oh, that's boy. such a difficult break for Kingsman right there, but they've still got time, second down. Oh yeah, and oh, both linemen just missing that dive, both diving at parallel angles, angles to where Cam's running. Whiffing, as one might say. <laughs> One of them containing inside, one of them containing outside, but they don't know you can't have two contained dives as good or dotted up right at the R and gridiron. My favorite route call right there, sending someone to pull off that safety and just a simple end to the receiver. Great routes, and can they get, get this kickoff, or is this going to be one of those games? We're about to oh, find God. out. Oh, clean, clean kick. No one stood a chance. Now... Don't forget, DJ has 19 seconds. All he has to do is get them to the 50 and throw up a 50 to Azzy or Insanity. With the four-man block, they definitely can do that. Like, This is very doable to score again. There's a little too much time left on that clock. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a couple of DJ's patented out routes down the field. Just some quick throws, get the receiver out of bounds. Hard to, I, I think they have two timeouts. I think DJ used one at the beginning of the game, but then hasn't used one since, so... Let's see what he does here. Just can't burn too much clock. That is the running. Go out. Does not oh. go out. <laughs> Interesting. All right. They just need, I'd say, six, seven more yards, and they're in safe 50 range. Maybe a comeback to Asiatic. Insanity out. Either or. Here it is. What are you? <laughs> they're still in 50 range. Don't get me wrong, but he has to jump across the line to throw this to the very tip of the end zone. Yeah, not the best sort of clock management I've ever seen there. Look at this pocket uh, behind you. Oh, he jumps. Oh, no. <laughs> that was front end zone. Like, DJ yucked that ball 58 yards exactly to right here. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to wonder what was kind of going on in the comms where DJ decided to take a sack there with about eight seconds left. You have to think that he was wanting to run and then call a timeout, but you, I don't if know. If you're going to do right that, you got to do it right away. You can't be fake rolling, fake rolling, dilly dallying across the field. You know that? Because there's not time, no time. And then taking a sack after two, that was just, that wasn't the smartest of plays. Yeah. But now Kingsman with the ball, they have a chance of making, you know, of tying this game up and really kind of putting the pressure on DJ again. 
fun fact, DJ already won 16 yards of rushing in the first half. And wide open is Yuffie with Cam 30 yards back. Defenders kind of learn to play under with Cam being 30 yards back. I don't know what they expect of 50. Yeah, that's true. I don't know exactly what happened there. Probably like a situation where you just don't know where your DBs are. Looks like they four man here. Yeah, and Cam, Cam is 30 yards so back, back. But he's wide open. It's just wide open. It did not matter how far back Cam was if your guy is just like 20 yards open. Cam's feeling the pressure, but the corners aren't doing anything about that pressure. As Cam just runs for five. And I think that's just the difference in the lineups trotted out right now. You know, King's been definitely feeling the effects of that Daku Naito's line, but at the same time, Cam feeling pretty confident that his receivers can make a play or find the open space against the secondary. Oh, I don't know if you just saw that play there. He called Khan on an inside leverage and then come back. But the post was so open because of that four man that he has all between from the D and gridiron to the end, just wide. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing with four man is when you get four man, you have to make those reads, and usually those reads are going to be over the middle. And, and Khan's right in front of him, but Cam just running it for the first and more. That's a good run by Cam. That is a great run. See, this is where things can't fall apart for dark, the dark nachos. If they can't get the pressure and they can't cover, what can you do? So you got to focus on one thing or the other and pray the other like eventually steps it up, right? But you can't lose both. So just keep going with that pressure. It is working. You already got one turnover from it. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed Zinio's message. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was chuckling at. I just saw it. <laughs> all right, Everything there's the works. pressure though. And Zinio has the edge and Cam throws it away. That's all they need to do. The red zone offense is just not there. Yeah, and I think that it's going to be pretty difficult for Cam to find open space here as the field sort of shrinks and responsibilities oh. get a little easier. But <laughs> Khan just catching the high pointed in by Cam. And we might be looking at a tie game. I think we're looking at almost a tie game. Just got to make sure this game's not that scuffed. Here we go. Not scuffed indeed. Great blocking. No one got in. <laughs> already seen a missed extra point or a blocked extra point but after all the things i've seen i'm not gonna lie nothing would surprise me at this point honestly yeah like right now i don't know why i thought that they're gonna like get the ball down at the one and someone's just gonna take it back in the end zone for a safety this wouldn't even phase me either but let's see what dj d runs here odds are 70 to 1 for a run <laughs> <laughs> And um. here it comes. Oh, 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 and it's a crossfield comeback. And I have to wonder if he really even meant to throw the ball there. That looked almost a little bit even like an RPO where he looked like he was looking for a running lane, didn't find one, and had his receivers just freestyling more or less. Honestly, I have to agree with you. I think he was more so looking at Insanity at Gooder, and Insanity did have a step, and then he realized, it's Insanity on Gooder. What am I doing? <laughs> that was almost a I hilarious see. play. Juice got shoved into DJ, and then nearly was able to get the sack because of it. Yeah, I saw <laughs> And there's the run, though, and Juice stopping it. Oh, Cam stopping it. That's weird. I thought Juice got the tackle. Only four yards. Third and six. It's interesting because DJ's not trying to mix it up. He's getting a little bit more confident. He's starting to tr sort of try to throw the ball. Yep. Wonder if they could maybe oh. capitalize on that and force a turnover as they stop him short. And now it's fourth and short. This is huge though. Like DJ could run, but if I was the defense, I'd play under. I'd I'd have the confidence that yes, I can take any of these guys in a leverage fifty. And no, and Sandy just wide open. That defense just busted. Just, it looks like they sent Cam on the four man and Insanity ran what looked like an in route. Maybe got a little bit confused in the responsibilities, thought that maybe they had their safety back there to pick it up, but nobody picked it up and just one of the freest firsts you're ever going to get. Mm -hmm. oh, that can't be happening. Fourth and true, two, that was 
That was crucial. Yeah, that's a big play. And now DJ is borderline in field goal range. What did DJ just do there? Did he just stand still in the pocket? No roll as both edges just go straight through. Yeah, a little bit of a of a strange play. Oh, there oh. it is. I couldn't <laughs> move. As if this game hadn't seen everything. Sort of, sort of had everything happen. A weird little glitch there to make it third and five. And he as he gets the first, that's huge. That takes so much pressure off the team. Instead of a fourth and one, you have a first and ten. In a fourth down situation, what would you do? Would you kick the field goal, or would you just... Oh my god. That was actually so close to being a, like a crazy back end zone dot. I think that in this case, you gotta go for it. I don't think that this defense has showed that they have any answers for you. You've been more or less driving up and down the field at will. If it's a fourth down and like a medium to short yardage situation, I think no. the- Oh. DJ, big, what are you doing? <laughs> big play by Meritor, but you have to wonder, what is DJ doing? He's got all this time. You gotta throw that away. Let's see. What do you do here? Azzy, Azziatic in the corner, but DJ doesn't trust his guy, but no! What is this? As he didn't season, oh. just cuts away last second. As Azziatic was burning over top, DJ, you gotta trust your guys. You have to trust your guys. What are you doing? This is, that was one of the more, in a game that's looked like a pub a bit at times, that was one of the more pub-like plays of the entire affair. Cam just showing throwing... DJ how it's done. Throwing the ball away. Oh, Zinho, pause coming in. Let's see what this is about. DJ, need a pause. Do you think DJ's taking a chill pill? Is he cooling off? <laughs> I mean, given that Zinio was the one that paused it, um, oh, W key not working. I feel like his W key is not working as he types W continuously. <laughs> Let's see. This is, this is an interesting game going on so far, though. Yeah, I mean, this game has been... This game's had everything, really. I mean, it's had... Big plays, it's had, you know, long methodical drives, it's had some crazy turnovers, some crazy, uh, like a crazy special teams play. Uh, I mean, and, m like, most importantly, we are 27 seconds left in the third quarter, so we're about to head into the fourth, and the game is still tied. Mm -hmm. So this really is anybody's game. It doesn't seem like any team really has a, all the momentum. I'd say that... You know, at the beginning, DK had a little bit more momentum, but Kingsman has kind of taken it back since. It it's going to be interesting to see what happens here and what adjustments teams make. The teams make, like you know, while we're paused here going into the fourth. This is definitely like, like this is definitely Kingsman's game to win now, right? Because of that turnover, this is all of their momentum. Cam has got to put the team on his back, drive them down the field. I know the lines just getting ran through but cam's gotta make that shifty move gotta make that move or two and then and just chuck it up trust his guys right because i think they have that clear receiver matchup and yeah yeah no go ahead oh i was gonna say and yeah conversely i think that dj has to go back to what was working before these sort of runs these like short throws um, I think that that turnover was really just a result of DJ and as the, or, uh, as eating season, excuse me, trying to do too much. You know, you've, you're holding onto the ball for a long time. You're trying to like direct your lineman who's playing running back up the field and you throw a pick on a miscommunication. Like, you know, just take the sure stuff, take what's open. There's definitely things open. You're getting four man and just throw the ball away when you have to, um, drop back more than 10 or 15 yards. Yeah, no, I agree. That that miscommunication, there was actually... Oh, yeah. Someone was burning down the field. I forgot. It was Asiatic Madness was burning over top of Khan, and DJ just didn't trust his man. Right there, you just got to chuck that ball up and say, Azzy's going to find spot because I'm giving you leverage. 
you gotta have that base level of trust to throw that ball up when I see a yard or two of separation and your guy behind. Yeah, it's. I think that's one of that's been one of the main things as we resume here that people have said about Cam is that a little bit he plays a little bit risk averse, doesn't really necessarily always trust everything. Um, here we but go, you know, crunch time, gotta see who makes a play here. Oh. Crossbody comeback, stealing one out of the DJ playbook, and Azzy almost picked that. Honestly, I don't. I think Azzy had more of a shot on that than Gooder did. Too yeah, it looked high. like Gooder ran out of spam. Like Gooder was just kind of walking towards the end. He might have just not even had the spam to make a play on it. Mm -hmm. I agree with you there. The pressure is definitely getting to Cam, and no leaks are being sent. Still, this is actually crazy. Look at Khan though. Khan was five yards behind. Yuffie's burning. Oh no! Oh my god, that is a dangerous read. There were a lot of open people, but that, that was not one of them. Yeah, I don't know if that would have been the first throw I would have made during the course of that play. Cam with immense trust in Gooder to come down with that ball. I mean, as he should, Gooder is that guy for Cam. Gooder and Cam are like Shaq and Aka. You just, you chuck that up when you have the chance. Oh, wide open gap, free five yards, and a free first down. Yeah, it looks like this run defense has been a little bit more vulnerable as the game has gone on. It looks like they're not necessarily committing all their resources to stopping the run at this point. Should open some things up if the play, you know, allows for it. What I'm just noticing, though, and I hope, I hope Cam's receivers are calling it out to him, is that, um... Dark Nacho's corners are just letting them burn behind, and that is not smart. They should definitely take advantage of that. Yeah, that's true. And there that goes Khan. Oh. Um, it looks like he had Yuffie there for a moment on the comeback. Now it's just a playground play. Probably, Yeah, probably a good thing that he just threw it out of bounds. I mean, it third and four, thing. very manageable. Like, you could pick this up. You could do anything here, really. You could yep. still even take your shot downfield. I agree with you. You could run, you could take a shot, you could do a comeback. There's so much opened up with a short situation. Here we go. Go to just an out and batted down by Lus. Fourth and four, and now the pressure builds up. You don't want to be in this situation. Oh, this is kind of a tough situation because you... you instinctively want to run it but your runs haven't necessarily been too great all day gooder is wide open gooder is burning the fake comeback go to the inside leverage i didn't see that one coming Ooh. and that's a route call that really cam would only give to gooder just the complete faith in the fact that gooder would be exactly where he wanted him to be where he needed him to be and you know now it's second and goal and they look like they're about to take the lead here Barring any sort of unforeseen disaster. Let's just zoom in so we can watch this run. Yup. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> and it was wide open too. He could have chosen the left gap, the right gap. He could have pulled it back and just ran outside if he really wanted. Just everything was open. The run is pretty powerful in this meta. What do you think right now? Do you think a good line is more important or a good receiving core? I think the... It depends on the quarterback. I think that there are some quarterbacks who definitely excel more with a good line than with a good receiving core. I think Cam is actually one of those quarterbacks who can kind of make his receivers shine, even if they're not necessarily the most gifted, like at 50 -ing. Um, But he, you have seen him struggle this year, or this season, again, uh, as opposed to last season, because of the difference in line play between Fear and, you know, now Kingsman. But then conversely, you have some quarterbacks who, you know, can kind of make moves back in the pocket kind of by themselves time and don't necessarily need the best line, but kind of need those receivers to oh. be those. Oh, oh, DJ. Oh, my God. That was I, I don't even blame DJ there. That's the great read. That was almost a perfect throw. I was so close to being a dot and it would have been the huge play that they need. Looks like it was just a bit over, maybe like a hair or two. Oh, as he's burning again, what is going on here? I I don't know what's going on. It looks like every time they run a deep route, it's open. It might be the a result of this four man. It might be that Kingsman's not showing these receivers any respect. But I mean, everything deep 
had, like the floodgates are open deep. Everything's open. And uh, now the offense has devolved into either chuck it 50 yards deep or run the ball because those are the two things that are really being sort of left available. <laughs> as the two keep happening, as he chucks it deep and then runs twice in a row. <laughs> Yeah, this is a real boomer bust offense at this point. It's either a 50-yard pass down the field or a run. And, I mean, both seem to be working right now. I mean, if they're what the defense is giving you, then they're what the defense is giving you. I don't know if you just saw this. Meritor got held up at the line so hard. It felt like I was, oh, felt like he got blocked by three dudes, but it was just as Eden Eden holding him there. Yeah, and that was just, every time that DJs wanted to go to the sideline, it feels like it's been free. Look at it's, look at as I don't know if you're watching this. He chipped the edge juice to the left hash, and then he went over to the center, and then chipped Gundozer to the middle of the field. This is unbelievable. Just <laughs> this is just one might say broken. This is, this is unfair. I'm more so looking at as than the QB right now. Like look at this guy. Yeah, as is more or less filling in that role of like a like a football fullback at this point, just paving the lane for these runs. Whoa! No, Azzy, you don't <laughs> cut away from your QB. That was a <laughs> touchdown. And that's just unfortunate. The red zone, you know, everything needs to be so perfect. Everyone needs to be in sync on where they want to go. You need to be so aware of where the open zones are. Oh and my God! As DJ that just run. runs it in, cuts it, and boom, he's in. I like this angle. I feel like a little snake. <laughs> <laughs> Can they get the block here? Let's see this. Oh my god, dude, please block uh, insanity, please. <laughs> <laughs> Insanity's giving me a heart attack. So I'm not even in this game. I I have Can no we... favorites here either, and I'm just getting mad. Can we get a a stats check real quick? Of course. <laughs> Let's do this. DJ has ran for 140 yards. <laughs> that is uncalled for. You know you have the line advantage, but to flaunt it just so overtly. Can we just talk about the fact that he had 101 and a half, so only 38 yards after? Yeah, it just, it looks like they're finally, oh, that's a good play to good or good yak. Looks like they're finally starting to try and clamp up on these short sort of dump off passes that DJ was taking early on. But DJ, I mean, obviously has like resorted to chucking it deep and that's gotten a bit open. DJ's really doing a great job here of adjusting to whatever the defense takes him. And I think that that's something that Cam, for the most part, has struggled with throughout the season. And in this case, because of the fact that his line play hasn't necessarily held up. He hasn't really had the time to evaluate and make those decisions. I think that right now we're seeing, you know, scheme versus skill in the secondaries of both these teams where with Cam, his receivers are just so experienced, they're so knowledgeable, and they're so good that they're just finding open space getting open, whereas DJ with these runs is opening things up for his receivers to get over top. This is... I don't think DK is in a good situation here with Cam actually chewing clock already and just trying to get in field goal range. And Yuffie wide open, and there's another first. That should chew maybe another 30 seconds of play clock here. When are Dark Notches going to start using their timeouts? Yeah, you have to wonder sort of what is kind of going on, if they're confident that they can make the stop. I mean, you know, Kingsman is only about 20, 25 yards out of field goal range. That's maybe one big play or two. Oh, I. The line's oh, getting obviously. in. This is huge. A throwaway. No timeouts needed. That's huge. Just get that pressure in four men. You want Cam to throw it away here. You got to think about this like as a coach now. How do you save your clock? You make him throw it away. You bring that pressure. And here it comes. Oh, ass Player begging. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is getting wow. good. All right, Third now. Ten. This is actually so, Close. so interesting. <laughs> yeah, because it's every time Cam drops back, he has to drop back like 10 to 15 yards. You have to assume there's going to be a comeback to Gooder here. A comeback there's out route, in route. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. He Yuffie. throws the in route behind Yuffie, and DJ sniffs it out. Oh boy, oh boy. They just gotta get in field goal range now. You're going to Asiatic. You're going to Asi. 
Come on, DJ. Looks like Cam is formatting here. Come on, DJ, shock the world. DJ, look at Azzy! <laughs> I... I don't know... This, like... This time management from DJ at the end of the second half and at the end of the game... Just... Questionable, Chuck to say the least. Yes! Oh, good comeback. They're in! They just got... <laughs> okay, wait. Now, oh, I they think... They a couple they, more yards. Do they have a timeout, they, though? They... Do have one, I believe. Then you just run it. Oh, he's not getting tackled though. DJ, please. Oh no! What a smart play by Kingsman. DJ, you gotta go sideline, buddy. Oh, let's see what happens here. DJ trying to yak it. Go back, dude. It does not matter anymore. And we're what going to OT. By... What a play by Kingsman there! Just actually <laughs> refusing to tackle DJ. And forcing him to waste the rest of the time on his own. Starting off with a shotgun run, and Cam picks up an easy six. Just as we said, the red zone, not Whoa, there for Cam. He's a very nice. Yeah, and I mean, like, if he's going to get six yards to carry, I mean, like, he's going to score this touchdown. It's really going to... I really do think this game is going to come down to who cracks on a two-point conversion Whoa, first. I don't think that I... Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no! Why would you do that, Cam, and make me look like an idiot in front of all my gridiron friends? I see. Thank you for the follow. And DJ starting off with a run just how we predicted it. And just to clarify, do th I don't think they have to get a... I don't think they got to get a two-point conversion because they, they already... Just a score wins the game. That's it. And DJ's just yeah. charging up this field. Seven more yards there. Yeah. As long as they get the lead here on a touchdown, like the game ends automatically. So. DJ, three more yards. Just need seven to go, and there's the game. This is... Of all the ways... That Kingsman has lost this season. Oh, DJ, if what are you are, doing? If they are to lose here, it would be one of the craziest losses that I've seen a team have in a league match. Mm -hmm. Does DJ just run again? Why wouldn't he, right? Absolutely. And Ab that is and that's game. game. That is game. It is time to um, it's time to hop. Let's just look at the stats. DJ eighty yards. Don't be misled by that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he ran every single play, so it's 20 yards. Zinho is truly an on-field menace. <laughs> I, um, I'm speechless. I actually have no, uh, no words for this. Kingsman, of course, falls to one and nine. Dakunato's now, I believe they're three and three. And these teams could not be trending in more different directions.